Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to another video and this video is kind of similar to last year's video where I'm just telling you how to join my team but this year I'm actually going to be showing you my team so basically I'm going to take through all the steps that you need to join my league um, the link will be down in the description um, <coughs> the link to the league will be down in the description so all you will have to do is click the link uh, and if you already made a team then I think it will just be submitted like just be submitted straight away into it and if I haven't built your team yet and you need to like create an account that's all you need to do you know what I'm saying boys and the cash prize this year is £20 for the winner and I know what some of you might be saying like did you pay the winner from last year's no I haven't paid the winner from last year because no one got in contact with me so it's, it's your job your viewers job if you win the league to send me proof that it's you and your job to get in contact with me like why, why am I going to get in contact with you if you win you know what i'm saying like i don't want to lose my i don't mind if you lot don't want to take my money or not but like, I, I don't mind keeping my money you know what i'm saying boys come on so yeah it's your job to get in contact with me if you win the league and the cash prize this year is 20 pound um so yeah let's just get straight into it okay boys so this is what you'll see when you like click the link or just go to fancy if you already have an account at nice little so you'll just see this where it says home and then squad selection so what you want to do is go on to the squad selection and then this is where you start picking a team. And I'm gonna take you through what I think my team, well, what my team is gonna be. So, in goalkeeper, I actually go from goalkeeper all the way up to this attack. I'm not too sure why, but I just always done that. So in goalkeeper, I've got to go for my boy Martinez again. I have him last year. He just gets so many points, you know what I'm saying? I'll also give you tips as well of like, well, you can copy me if you want, um, or you can, uh, you can create your own team, obviously. Um, so we've got to go Martinez. And then what I do is I normally go for an awful keeper next, just one that's four mil. Oh, I see it. You gotta get the cycling GK in. So we're going for Martinez and Foster in goal. Because that's what I'd say to do, boys. So then you keep your money for better, better purposes, you know, later on. So they are my two goalies. Moving on to the defense. I'm actually gonna change this from total points to team selected by. So yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Luke Shaw at the back because after that Euros performance, if he continues that into the season, um, I think they're going to be pretty good. And with the likes of Varane as well, uh, although I do think he's a little bit overrated, he is a, he's, he's a lot better than Lindelof and Bailly. So that's obviously going to screw up their defence, which means Luke Shaw will probably get a couple more clean sheets than that. You know what I'm saying? Here and there, come on. Um, and then for other um, defenders, I'm going to go for... One's a hard one. Come on. Um, I'm gonna go for Rudiger because I think Chelsea are gonna keep a lot of clean sheets just this season. You kind of were seeing it towards the end of last season how many clean sheets they were clean, keeping through two cool through two cool ball coming in. You know what I'm saying, boys? They've got a lot better defensive record. Um, and then I'm also gonna go for Ben White. Yes, I see a lot of people taking the piss online, yeah, but I feel like. Listen, Ben White, I could get him out after the first week, yeah? But I don't have mind having him. I don't know if he's going to start, though. That's the only problem. Actually, I'm not speaking Ben White because I don't think he's going to start. Um, but what, what I'm saying, boys, is everyone's taking the piss out of him, yeah? So I actually think he's going to play pretty well because it happens with that. Every time you like start taking a piss out of a player, they normally come back and do pretty well. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to think... I'm actually going to go for Ailing at the back because... I, think, I feel like Ailing's actually a pretty decent um, back and he always plays. And then again, I only pick three backs and then for my last um, two um, like, uh, centre backs or backs, I, I'm just going to go for. Is there anyone for four mil? There's no centre backs for four mil, so I'll just go Messina and Cabaselli. So I'm just going to go for them too, you know, fill out the squad a little bit. All right, boys, so now we are actually moving on to the midfield and this is where the money goes down a little bit because this is where the, the players are a lot, worth a lot more money now and it gets a bit frothy, you know what I'm saying, boys? So the first player I'm going to pick, I think everyone has to pick him, is Mo Salah. He scores, he, score, he scores 20 plus goals every season and it's been happening for three seasons now. So I feel like you have to pick Salah, even though he's 12.5 mil, you kind of have to pick him. Um, next, I'm going to go for not Fernandez. I'm telling you now, this season he's going to be a fraud. He's, been, he's 
He's got lucky because he's got away having some penalties. But I'm telling you now, this season's going to be a fraud, yeah? This is why. Because they've just signed Sancho and they got Rashford, obviously Martial, Cavani, yeah? And what I'm saying, yeah, is right now, because Sancho just came in, he's going to take the limelight off of um, Penandes a little bit, yeah? And he won't be performing as good as he is. I'm saying Fernandez will probably score like 10 goals, 8 from be from penalties. That's what I'm saying. That's what my bet is. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just wait and see. But that's what my pr prediction is. Next, I'm going to go for Grealish if he stays at Aston Villa. If he leaves Aston Villa, I'm going to get rid of him. Because at Man City, I don't think he's going to play that much. Because think about it, they have De Bruyne. And I, the first thing is, I just don't see Grealish being the sort of Pep Guardiola player, really. Because... He's not the he's not the brightest spark in the book, and I don't think I don't think Pep Guardiola would actually they wouldn't get along. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like Dean Smith and uh, Grealish where they're both like uh, a bit lads about. It, you know what I'm saying, boys? But I'd say if Grealish goes see, I don't think he'll get. I'm not I'm not saying obviously he'll get game time, but in the most important matches, I don't think he's going to be played at all. Um, I feel like they got Foden who Guardiola sucks off. They got De Bruyne, Guardiola sucks off. They got Mares. I think he's probably the best out of all of them, Mares. And then Sterling, he also sucks off. So it's going to be half of Grealish to get into the team. Um, but anyway, we're going to add Grealish for now. But as I said, if he gets thingy, he's got to go. Uh, next, I'm going to go for Rapinha as well. A quality. I'm telling you now, he's a quality player. Um, I'm not too sure why he didn't go to the with Brazil to the. Cop America, really. He's a quality player. Um, he scores quite a few goals, um, and he's just just nice overall player, really. Uh, next, I'm gonna go for Mason Mounty. Um, I feel like could Chelsea. I feel like they're gonna be there or there about top of the league this season. My predictions for uh, Premier League will be coming out like next week, someday. Um, but I feel like he's gonna have a good season. Mount. I think he's a good player. But actually, turn of events. I'm not picking Mount. Um, I don't know why, um, but I just don't feel like he's going to have the expected season because basically what happened is last year there wasn't that much hype on him. This season there's loads of hype on him. I don't think, I feel like he'll play well, but I don't think he's worth 7.5 mil. Whereas I think man like Madison, yeah, he scores goals. Last season, yeah, when I, when I brought Madison in, that was when I started climbing up the table, yeah? And then he got injured and that's when I slipped back down again. I'm telling you now, Madders is going to bag some goals. He gets assists and everything. I'm telling you now, Madders is a good pick um, to have. And then the next player might surprise a lot of people, but I'm going for where is the man? Man like Pepe. I'm telling you now, he's going to have a great season. I'm telling you now. Towards the start of last season, you started to see glimpses of how good he was, yeah? I'm telling you now, this season, I'm saying 15 goals. Maybe not 15, I'm saying... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It 15 goals and like 7 assists, something like that. I'm telling you now, last season he was a decent player. I think he's the Arsenal's best player. I know that's not hard at the moment. It's not like we have like Terry and Reed, Bergkamp like we did back in the day. But I'd say Arsenal's best player is Pepe at the moment. Um, so now we're going to move on to the forwards and we have 24.5 mil left to spend. So, so the first forward I'm going to pick is Watkins. I had him all last season. I think he's a very good striker, really. Um, not much more to say about it, really. Next, oh, or do I pick Watkins? I'm in a predicament. The thing is, this is what I think I might go after a couple of weeks because I'm... This is what my strike is going to look like with Kane and Watkins. But, however, Kane is playing Man City in the first game week. And if he doesn't transfer to City, I don't think he plays well against City ever. I've never seen Harry Kane score against City. So, I'm not picking Harry Kane, which means I'm not going to pick Watkins either. And let me just go down to see the fixtures. And I see Chelsea are playing Crystal Palace. I think Werner might get a few goals in that one. Um, I feel like everyone's... Everyone disrespects Werner a little bit too much. Even though he doesn't score that many goals and he like misses a few chances, he is, he's a, I think he's a good striker through the runs he makes and his speed. I feel like he's a good striker. Like In the Champions League final, the reason why Havertz got one-on-one -on -one with a goalie is because uh, Werner's run, if you watch the goal, Werner makes a run out there, which means space in the middle, which just allows Werner to, uh, Havertz to take a pass to goalie 
and slot it in. I'm telling you, Werner, he might struggle to find the hole. <laughs> Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> he might struggle to find the hole, but um, I've, I feel like this season, 15 plus goals for Werner as well. Um, and then to str to go with him for the first game, I'm going to pick Vardy as well. Um, I think Vardy, Vardy's probably going to score. Vardy always scores goals every season. You know that. Um, but what I'm saying is, boys, after a couple of seasons, after a couple of games, I mean, uh, what? So what's the next game for Spurs? So it's like Wolves and Chelsea were Arsenal. So that's quite an easy game for Chelsea. <laughs> but Leicester over West Ham, you know what I'm saying? So after a few weeks, I think I might change Vardy and Werner for Watkins and Kane. But for now, I'm going to stick with these two because their first game weeks are a lot easier um, than with Aston Villa. Aston Villa got Newcastle. Newcastle is a hard team to break down. Um, and then for the final strike, I just got five mil. So put in five mil budget here and see who we can get. So we got Davis there. No one's really saying anything to me, so I'm just going to go for <coughs> Davis. And I have got 0 0.5 left. So, with that 0 0.5, I'm going to get rid of this uh, Massina. And we're going to get in a centre-back. Well, a left-back or right-back. That is 5 mil. What are we looking at? Oh, for fun at. It's 4.5 mil. That's actually a good price for him. I'm going to get Target in. I think Target's a good player. Oh, too many Aston Villa players open. Let me just get Davis out. Over Femi. That is who I'm going to go for. That is my final team. All right, so after you've finished creating your squad, what you're going to do is you want to enter the squad. So the team name, let's just say Segundis. Uh, sec. Um, Segundis. Um, Segundis nuts. <laughs> Um, choose your favourite club go on Arsenal and then you want to do which want to enter squad then what you want to do is locate yourself over to the leagues and cups um, and so it's create and join new leagues and cups and then you want to join league and cup if you're doing it this way if you're doing it the other way you could just go down to the link in the description tap on the link and I think it joins you automatically but if you're doing it this way then you just say join uh, invitational league and cup and then you want to put the league code in. Okay, guys, so the code is FI77VW. Um, I'll put it in the link in the description and on the screen right now so you have no trouble finding it. Um, and then all you have to click is join league and then you're in. The league is called MDM in it. Um, and, and as you can already tell, I've actually got myself already in here. This was like a because I had already created my team and it created the league so I could show you lot how to join the league. Um, but yeah pretty simple how to join make sure you guys make your teams and yeah best of luck even though you're not going to beat me like you can go for second last time we actually had a very good turnout in the league i think we had like 70 people that entered so it's a great turnout really um let's try and get a similar number maybe more this season maybe less i don't mind because i'm going to win anyway you know what i'm saying but as i said if you do manage to beat me which is going to be a very rare occasion Man's got five years of experience. I've not actually got five years. I don't know how many years I've got experience. But anyway, I've got experience, yeah? If you do manage to beat me, uh, well, not if you manage to beat me. If you manage to be the first in the table, I'm giving you 20 quid. Um, and as I said, guys, it's your job to contact me about the 20 quid. Anyway, guys, that is the video there. Um, hope to see you lot in the league as soon as possible. Um, and until next time, boys, see you later.